Hello! Um, this is Waterlily716, or Sarah, and today I'm going to do a video on how to have really healthy hair and how to repair your hair if it's damaged. Um, and so this video is going to be about preventing damage and recovering from damage if you do have damaged hair. Now I have to say personally, I've never had really damaged hair, um, but I do have really healthy hair, so I know how to take care of your hair to make it not damaged. And just first off, I'm going to say that hair is always like a long-term project. Like there is no magical product that you can put in your hair overnight and have it be like beautiful the next morning um, and also as far as split ends go there's nothing that can cure split ends because once your little end is split nothing is going to like fuse it back together you can smooth them down with products but nothing is going to repair them um, I know a lot of products say they can do that but you can't do that so but what you can do is get them cut off and then sort of move on and take care of your hair now if your hair is damaged, what your hair needs is moisture and protein. And protein will go a long way in helping damaged hair regain its health because the hair is made of mainly keratin. So if you give it protein, it's gonna sort of suck that up um, and it's gonna help to rebuild the hair. But um, once your hair is healthy, you don't really need that much protein. So don't OD on the protein if your hair is healthy because you can give your hair too much protein and then it gets like starchy and stiff and stuff and you don't want that and then so basically what you need to do if you have damaged hair is use um, protein treatments and deep treatments on your hair and really just pamper your hair and take care of journal and like everything we do can cause damage so you can't just like stay in your house and protect your hair but um, we can't do that how to prevent split ends um, first of all you just want less damage first of all you can avoid chemicals and any sort of chemical that you use on your hair, firm, if you get it relaxed, um, if you get a straining keratin treatment, it's, very, it's, us, it's damaging to your hair. Um, and sometimes you hear stories of people like dyeing their hair too much and then it just like starts breaking off. So your hair is a natural fiber and you can only do so much to it before it freaks out. Um, so just try to appreciate your natural hair and don't do too much to it. Embrace the curls. Okay, um, chlorine can be damaging to your hair. So if you swim all the time, you should probably, you should be careful um, to protect your hair. And what you can do is um, you can use a swim cap, <laughs> which is kind of geeky, or you can saturate the hair with conditioner um, before you go swimming. So. And then also, um, if you have hard water in your area, then this can affect your hair. So what you can do is get a good shower filter on your shower head and then it'll be good for your hair. Um, it's very important to be gentle when you're brushing your hair because I know I've seen friends that just like take a brush and they just rip through their hair really fast and it's bad. It's bad for you. Oh, you can see my mic. Sorry. Um, but it's bad for your hair so you just have to be gentle. Um, so first of all, don't tease or back comb your hair if you want healthy hair. Um, and then, because it pulls up the scales of the hair, and when you keep doing that, it's eventually going to break. So, um, you want something that's friendly for your hair. Personally, a wide tooth comb is usually friendlier than a brush. But if you have a brush, make sure they have the little balls on the end um, of the fibers that are the brush because that's good. If they start like falling off, go get a new one because it's usually bad for your hair. Um, and don't over brush your hair because the more you brush your hair and it will get all the knots out, but the more you brush, the more you pull at your hair and the more damage you're gonna get. Um, and always start at the bottom and then work your way up. And for curly hair, you should um, do it in the shower when your hair is wet and soaked in with conditioner and keep adding conditioner and rinsing um, until your hair feels like seaweed and it's easier to detangle. And if you have a knot, don't like yank at it and yank at it until it gets out. Just sort of gently tease it apart. Like if I have a knot, I wonder if I have one. I don't know. I could do a video on detangling, but if I have a knot, I just sort of, you kind of have to pull it apart gently instead of just like pulling it. And I know I've gotten frustrated and pulled out knots, but you shouldn't. <laughs> And you should use hair-friendly accessories. Um, so, 
one thing one thing you should look for is you want hair accessories that don't have a little metal band that connects them just make sure it's just glue because those are damaging um, and I really like rubber ones because they grip the hair and that's good or like texturized ones those are nice for staying in your hair and scrunchies are really healthy but so 90s um, but those are really comfy too. Make sure it doesn't like snag on your hair or like tear when you take it out because then you're causing damage. Okay, and then the next thing, you can protect your hair from the sun. So the best way to protect your hair from the sun is just pop on a hat or bandana when you are going to be outside for a long time. Like if you're not going to be outside for sports practice or marching band practice firstly. Um, and if you ever come back in and like smelled your hair and it smells like burnt, it's because of the sun. You can also look for... Um, something with a sunscreen in it and I'll post a little thingy with general sunscreens um, but like sometimes products like this one they just have sunscreen in them and if you use them on your hair your hair will be protected that day which is great you can just use regular sunscreen in your hair but I wouldn't really want to do that I think that might make your hair kind of greasy um, and then the products you use on your hair are very important. For curly hair, you want a really moisturizing conditioner and you want a shampoo that is not too drying or use no shampoo at all. So that's a curly girl method. You can look into that if you want. There are just a lot of personal personal habits that can cause you to damage your hair. Um, for example, when you push your hair up in a ponytail and you pull it like, like you put it up and then you pull it to tighten it, that's causing damage. If you, if it gets caught in your backpack strap and just sort of let it get there and get fussed around, you just have to be really careful with your hair. And um, when you dry your hair, don't fuzz it up. And also try to avo avoid um, heat appliances and use a heat protectant when you do use them on your hair. So those are a lot of things that you can do. Oh, and something else that's majorly important to get a haircut every once in a while because your hair needs it and if you don't um, do it every once in a while then make sure to go through and look for split ends or single strand knots if you have them and make sure to cut them out but yeah you do need a haircut um, I personally it depends on how fast the ends of your hair um, get less healthy Personally, I think I go like every six months or so. I usually push the limit, but you do need a haircut a good amount of time. And it depends on how fast you get like split ends. Like my ends are usually pretty good, so I don't need to go as often. Um, and if you do have damaged hair, though, your hair goes like from your scalp. So this is like the healthiest hair and this is like the driest and most damaged hair. Um, but if you do have extremely damaged hair, the only thing that's really going to help it is time and like taking hair, care of your hair as you go. So this video is so long. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this answers some of your questions about damaged hair. Basically just take care of your hair. It's a natural fiber and you should take care of it like it's a really good sweater that you wear every single day, which you do. So. Um, and if you really want to take care of your curly hair, I do recommend the Curly Girl Method. So, um, there'll be an annotation or a link down in the description, so check that out. Um, and post a comment about your tips for taking care of damaged hair. Yeah. That's it. Bye, girlies.